pace of striking and mass dismissals. Most of the striking workers are members of the NUM, but they are refusing to listen to the union, saying it has betrayed them. Instead, they are following the lead of a small rival union called AMCO, which is not recognized by management because it has insufficient members at the mine. The problem I think in Paula got at the moment is they can't really um, negotiate with AMCO as you, you need to have more than 50% of your, of your workforce actually being members of that union before, before they can actually because they sit, at the moment they sit with, between a rock and a hard place I would argue, you know, um, they can only realistically negotiate with the NUM. And, and, and it seems like, you know, they, you know, the MUN's ability to control the people at the moment is limited. Management has meanwhile shut down the hostel kitchen. Now, the starving, cash-strapped strikers are seeing red. The Minister of Mineral Energy, she's supposed to stand with us, with a government. He's supposed to come to support us on the situation like this. We are waiting the government they can just take over this issue and discuss and sort it out immediately because there's no company dismissed 17,000 employees here in South Africa. The NUM says it will meet management on Monday in a fresh attempt to find a solution to the impasse. Mbangini Mutua, SAPC News, Johannesburg.